hi guys very good afternoon to all of you welcome to the video number 447 and in this video today uh, I'm going to talk about how to use the VLOOKUP with the for next and the if and error handler so we have a lot of things going on in this exercise I received a question from one of my subscribers and I'm just going to read out that this is what actually the Vijay actually written me he emailed me this right so th this is actually one of his email which he had, which he had forwarded me little uh, long time back actually um, it, it it was forwarded on 26th of the June so what he has to say is um, uh, I have a question on VBA every month I have a data that I need to add in the raw data sheet and in that I need some mapping example city name to be mapped with the name uh, with the region name in the adjacent column if I am using a function in VBA but it is taking much time since the records are more than 70,000 rows some of column will have the region name uh, you know uh, be default and some of them will be missing so I need to fill the missing region column based on the city city name and region name examples I have it in the another uh, sheet called the master right so first of all uh, loop is not going to take much of the time you are just dealing with the how many records 70,000 so it's really not going to take much of the time I don't think so now I, I don't know if, if you call one minute a uh, long time then then I mean I can't say but I think when you run the VLOOKUP with the loops uh, within the 60 seconds it should be able to calculate everything for you right so Vijay actually forwarded me this uh, sample where I have 31 rows here right and now what uh, what the plan is guys that uh, some of the regions are written here and some of them are blank and we want to look up these you know we want to find out these regions uh, based on the city value and the city and the region value are here you can see that in the master sheet so I have the city here Mumbai, Jaipur, Pune and you know so on and then we have the region so what we want to do is we want to look up this city uh, this cities one by one in the master sheet and we want to pick up that region from there right so the point is uh, I have already prepared the code and uh, now there are two things which you must know about this uh, first the first thing is that you should know how to use the VLOOKUP in Excel right and then you should also know that how to use the error handlers in VBA right why error handlers because let's say I created here city ABC which is not here this is this is a, a city I created you know ABC is not here so if ABC is not there if you run the VBA it will throw the error so how to deal with that because if we have a ABC then we would simply either like to go to the next cell okay or we would r like to write here something that the value is missing or and you know whatever and if the value is already there then we don't want to do we simply want to go to the next cell so basically my target is to uh, fill in the blank cells right now the first thing which I will look here is that how many times I need to suppose uh, you know I'm supposed to run the loop so guys you will run this loop from 2 to 31 row right now don't choose this uh, to find out the last row don't use the range A uh, uh, column A you use the column B or C because this can be empty you may have uh, not the region in the last three cells like this so in that case if you go to the you know let's say A 10 lakh uh, this 48,576 1 million you know the row number and you use control up arrow it's going to stop here which is A28 so rather than that what I will do I will go here and I, I use the control up arrow because control up arrow is a code is a actually shortcut key which takes you to the last value and then you can subtract minus one from it because if I'm on the 31 doesn't mean that I have to start from you know I, I actually have to go to the 31 I think if you're starting from uh, 2 then you have to go to the uh, the loop uh, uh, 31 or 30 let us see that I'm not sure about that let's run this right so guys first of all I will run the loop make sure that every cell I'm going to select one by one like this and when we have a selection we will check whether the value is blank or not if it is not blank simply go to the next cell and then use this ABC look up this ABC in master sheet if it is there return the value if it is not there simply write here something let, let's say not in and then go to the next cell that's what we want to do till we are on the last row right so this is what I'm going to do here guys you can see that this is how we're going to start the program so I have written here error handler which is on error go to ERR right now this means that anytime if the VLOOKUP is going to throw any error it will go in this error portion where we will go and write the not in so let us start the code so we are on the sheet raw and now this is I equals to 2 so this is going to you can see that this is going to work from 2 to 31 and I think we don't need the minus 1 because we are starting from 2 so the first time when the I is going to take the value in the cells I comma 1 it's going to be 2 so now you see that it selected the A to cell 
I'm on the A2 cell. Is this blank cell? This is not blank cell. So what will happen? We have simply said that if the cell is blank, then please go and use the worksheet function dot VLOOKUP and then look up the value in the same row which is 2 and comma 2. So means B2. We are talking about here B2 cell. So Mumbai is going to be look up in a table called sheets master dot range A1 to B100. So this is the master sheet and this is my table A1 to B100, right? I have just given the range to B, uh, B100, but you can give it the uh, range according to your that master sheet size. And then we need the second column number from there, obviously. That's how we use the VLOOKUP, right? And zero for the exact match. So this value is not blank. So it simply goes to the else and if. And now next I. So next I is going to be three. So I am now on the cell I3. Now, you know that this ABC is not available in the master sheet. So what happens when this is going to run when because this cell is this basically this cell is not empty. So if it is not empty, then it will go in the then area. And now it will, you know, it is going to uh, look up this item, which is ABC. Uh, this cells I comma 2 in the sheet master and you know it's not there so we will have the error here we look up through the error now because I have written this on error go to ERR right this ERR you can write anything here then what happens this you will not see the error coming but this will go in the error area and the active cell should now say not in or whatever you want to write now from here resume next resume next means the line please run this code after the next line of your this error generating line so you know that this line actually generated the error guys so what happens it goes in the end if and next i now what is the next i the next i is actually four now you know that four the moment i select the four it becomes the active cell so this i as four and comma one which is a4 is it blank it is not blank so, so we simply go to the else end if and now here we have a blank cell and in the blank cell this city is going to look up this thana is going to look up and the vlookup is going to work and look at this it says north india so same way guys this loop is you know it's going to work let me press quickly f8 it's a very simple code right very unique code as well i talked about this in my one of uh, other videos as well but since my subscriber had uh, written me this email so i'm just you know going to uh, show his data to, to him and to, to all of you so that uh, because these uh, uh, such things you know comes from directly from you so uh, directly from those people who work a lot in Excel so I think this is these are the kind of the case studies you will see on this channel a lot right so finally this is how it is going to done now you see that the loop keeps on running and keeps on running right any point in time if you have any city which is not available let's say I write here why 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 now you would see here the error how it is going to work so the moment I run this look at this Look at this now this line will give you the error because yy is not there in the master sheet i know and the moment it comes we have the error and not in and then resume next right so this is how guys you can make this code right so we are done with this and the last thing and now we are done the loop stops and it comes out of this next i right message box done and now make sure that you should write the exit sub because if you don't write it then what happens it will again go in the error part and it will start writing in the active cell not in and we don't want to do that because error is something this area is some this area we are writing uh, only for the errors right so once the loop is done we would like to exit from the loop there we go the macro stops guys and you have your this all the regions coming here right so i don't think so this is gonna take time right you can uh, go and use it and uh, one more thing you can do to in order to bring the speed you just write here application screen updating equals to false by default by default it is always true right so uh, but make sure uh, you before the end up you make this back to the here before you exit from it right you make sure that you should make it back to the true right so this application screen updating is going to bring the speed also in your macro right try this on your 70,000 records or whatever you have and let me know about it so guys this is the code basically right and if you do not know anything about the error handlers don't worry about it what you can do is you can go to my this channel right on this channel and by the way this is a excel vlookup playlist you know if you if you if you don't have if you don't have a good understanding on the vlookup go ahead and watch this video number 205 you don't have to search the video by its number just go to the excel vlookup and match playlist and you'll get to see 16 videos here watch this the first video complete discussion on the vlookup and the match and uh, in order to uh, learn the errors what you can do is somewhere here you would find a v excel vb introduction series this is the one when you click on this excel vb introduction series this is what you get to see 
so these are all the you know uh, on the top part one part two part three part four these are all the introduction about this vba and you can go and watch this video error discussions on error go to handler when you watch this video and you come back and watch this video you look at this code that's gonna make a lot of lot of sense to you right so uh that's it for now and you can pause the video you can uh, note down this code i'm increasing the font size of this so that you should know that you can see this clearly and so this is the code actually guys so that's it for now and uh, i'll meet you soon thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye